Well, I can't remember who started the conversation, but I was hanging out with Greg and Janet three or four years ago, and we talked about having a signature model, which today is what we call the Golden Clipper, and here it is. And um, I had a lot of input in terms of design and the look of it and that sort of thing. I wanted the two extra frets. I wanted to have this inlay pattern. Not specifically this inlay pattern, but a, an Art Nouveau inlay pattern. And Greg was working on that. And I didn't even realize it at the time, but he said, well, you know, the Saratoga Star has an inlay pattern that is basically Art Nouveau, which he, Greg, had designed already. So I was already playing uh, that kind of an inlay pattern because, again, my background is Czech and uh, I wanted to have an inlay pattern by this artist, Alphonse Mucha, who was a Czech, Czechoslovakian artist, Art Nouveau artist. And so, anyway, that. And um, I wanted the, the resonator to be made out of uh, quilted maple, and they obliged me with that. Uh, what they added, which I had not asked for, but the uh, beautiful power shell uh, along the neck and along the resonator here, and um, also this stretcher band here, as I like to call it, has this hand carved, it's black chrome, hand carved, and it's just absolutely beautiful. So it's even fancier than what I'd imagined. And of course it has the gold plating, but the main thing is the sound, of course. It just sounds wonderful. And uh, the neck is just a dream to, to play. It's just so, it's a little wider than say a master tone kind of a neck and not as thick as some other ones, not as wide I should say some other ones, or thick. So for my hand, it's just the perfect thing. And again, this has been three or four years and trying different things, trying different inlay patterns. And um, in fact, when we first did this, when uh, the Deering folks made this neck the first time, it didn't have any of this uh, acrylic outline on it. It was just the amazing Dicro Lamb which I'm not sure how much you can see out there in TV land, but the, uh, this really spectacular uh, material here, uh, which is uh, taking the place of a regular shell sort of material. And um, originally it was just that with no outline, but I was finding it a little hard to see. It kind of disappeared when you looked down the neck, so we decided we should put this acrylic around it, and, and Greg made the design, and it works perfectly now on every level. I can see perfectly well and it still has that depth that you get with the dichro lamp and the acrylic going around it. 